So the, the, there was someone who was asking me how I made my first page look as good as it is looking right now. So uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing how I made my first page to look like this. But before we do that, there are five simple rules that I use, my own rules that I use to make my first page look like this. And they are not to be ignored if you want your first page to look good. Now, the first rule is that you need to, your title doesn't have to be very long. Your title doesn't have to be very long. Some of you have very long titles. For example, me, I have the brain boosting diet. I can add cookbook to it. It's fine. Your title should not exceed six words. If your title exceeds six words, they become too many and they, they mess up even your, your title page. One, two, three, four. These are four words. Yes. Four words are okay for the title. Then the subtitle is should also not be too long. The title is short. The subtitle is short and can bring out the point. So as long as the title subtitle can bring out the point, it's okay. If you don't need to put too many keywords in your stuffing your your subtitle with keywords, eh? those keywords you'll put them in the seven backend keywords. You you leave them for the seven backend keywords. Just make sure your subtitle makes sense. Make your title to make sense. Your subtitle to explain your title and it let them make sense yes Th that is the first rule i always use for, for making my first page look good so you make sure your title is short not more than seven words not more than seven words if you put your title more than seven words it becomes crowded now the second thing i do is use the correct font yes you have to use the correct font you need to use the correct font some of you choose wrong fonts and then your 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 title page will look weird if you choose the wrong font now me the font i use here as you can see this is the font that i'm using it's called copper black as you can see the name is here copper black it is the, the font i like using i use this font all 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 the time and because it is rounded and good it looks good the font actually 90 percent of the of good look, if you want your book to look good you need to collect select the correct font even for the whole book itself as long as you choose the correct font your book will look good eh? and appealing if you choose the wrong font you're finished so that is number two and then number three is on your first page use the same font don't don't try to mix mix fonts you're wasting resources use the same font for example here i've used copper black yes and even for the subtitle i use the same font copper black as you can see up here copper black just reduce the size then on the name also i use the same font copper black copper black yeah so I use the same font on the first page. That is rule number three of my book font page making. The fourth rule is to add a page border. Yes, see this page border. Add the page border. That is the fourth thing you can do is to add the page border. Page border will make it look good. I'm going to show you how you can do all this in a few minutes. Then the, the fifth rule is to manipulate the image. You make sure you manipulate this image to look good. I'm going to show you all this in this video so without wasting time let's begin and i show you how you can do it step by step so as you can see i have a blank first page yes i have a blank first page so i have to start from scratch so to start from scratch i i have to get my title which should be very short yes my short title was what let me shake it again it was the brain boosting diet so i'm going to use come here and type the brain the brain the brain boosting diet i can even add cookbook to it cookbook as long as there are five words less than six words these are one two three four five these are five words that is okay so since uh, i've typed the brain cooking boosting diet cookbook now i can change the font yes so highlight it uh go to home after going to home now you can click here and change the font to the one you want yes as i said may i always use cooper black because I, it's good it's a good font for me so i'll choose my cooper black after that then you increase uh you first bold it bold it yes make it bold and then increase increase the what increase the size so you come here to this increase font size as you can see the good thing with microsoft Word even tells you what to do for example you see as as soon as i hover on this button it is telling me that increase font size yes so i'll just click on it to increase the font size increase the font size until it reaches a 
point where the part which i like uh, i think that one is good enough that is good enough the brain boosting diet it looks good now change the color so i come here to the colors as you can see it's even saying font color My, microsoft word tells you what to do it says font color so i click here and i change the font color to red yes as you can see now i have the the thing is called the brain boosting diet cookbook that is my book title yes short brief and direct to the point now as you can see uh there's something not right about this this book title is because you can see that there's a gap in between this book title there's a gap this gap and this gap i don't like the, like it when they have this gap so i want to reduce the gap so in order to reduce this gap i just highlight i have to highlight it and then i click ctrl one ctrl one i'm leaving it on the screen you can see it a short keyboard shortcut ctrl one ctrl one as you can see when i click ctrl one it reduced it and fixed the gap now you see the thing how it looks the brain boosting diet cookbook it looks better like that more squeezed and more organized so that is the title of the book now i need the subtitle the subtitle what was the subtitle let me get it it's here the 20 delicious recipes for enhancing cognitive function and preventing dementia so i'll copy this and come and paste this subtitle here so i paste the subtitle here the way it is as you can see that this is a subtitle i pasted it here so i can highlight it and change the font yes highlight it and come to home check font as i've told you me i'm using cooper black for everything once i use cooper black for the title even subtitle has to accept cooper black whether it likes it or not so cooper black as you can see this is how it looks just uh click here and center it make sure it is centered center aligned even this one make sure it is center aligned so i have now now i have the title and the subtitle now the third thing to do is to add the the name yes so i keep everything in the same font so the name is here on my copyright page is called kim read so i copy this kim read come this side copy it and paste it here paste kim read so kim read and i make sure it is in the same font so change it to cooper black home uh font and go to cooper black so as you can see now i have the name kim read so i move the name down move it a bit down and then i have to bring an image in the middle here so to bring an image all i have to do is first come to home here yes come to insert from inside i i, I get a shape so i get a rectangle shape as you can see this is a rectangle which i want so i click on it then i come here and i put a rectangle yes put a rectangle put a rectangle and see so this rectangle can easily be manipulated the way i want so i manipulate it until i i think it looks good manipulate the rectangle until it it looks good until you think it looks good until you think it looks better so um so if i look at that uh it's not yet so good so i'll manipulate it until i think it looks good okay so this is okay now i can double click on it and add an image in it so come to shape for format click on this after that you go to shape fill so click on shape fill and picture select a picture click enter from a file so you go from a file go to downloads me always keep my my photos in downloads so let me get a, a good picture from downloads mm. get a good image yes uh, i think this one is okay this first one click on it and click insert as you can see the image has been inserted now from here the next step is to manipulate it now to manipulate this image i just have to double click on it and go to picture format up here picture format and after that i click on crop click on fill yes now as you can see there is a cursor here there's a cursor here and then there is a border here black border black border black border ignore the black borders pull this image so that you can see the dots see these dots you can see these dots now you can manipulate using these dots so if i want to focus on this image if i want to focus on this part only on this part only so i'll have to just pull these dots to focus on that part until it is focused on that part yes you see so i pull the dots until it's focused on that part and then i click on anywhere on the microsoft word and now you can see my image is looking good yes 
now the next thing to do is to add a page border yes now to add a page border you come up here on the tabs and look for page layout so this layout you click on this layout after clicking on layout you come to margins you click on these margins then you go down and click on custom margins after that you go ahead and click on layout again then after that you go down and click on borders then after that you make sure you're on page border from here then you look at style you select the style you want you can select this one as you as you click it will be showing the style like this click and it shows you scroll through click and you can see it will this is the style go ahead and look through this is another style so let's say we, we have chosen this style that we're going to use the next thing to do is to look at this if you click on on ok right now it will this this style will apply to the whole document but we want it to apply to the first page only so to apply to the first page only you come here and click on this drop down arrow then you, you you say this section first page only so you click on this first page only click on this after that you click ok as you can see now we have a page border but you, as you can see this image is looking too big now because it is inside it is inside your it's inside a shape you can easily manipulate it you can change the size any any way you want yes because it's inside the shape now you can mess with the with the with it with it the way you want so now i can mess with it and move it up to here now as you can see this is how my first page looks yes and this is how you can do it by yourself so as i've said before this channel is a complementary channel to Lego Naira's channel all i do here is troubleshoot help you with things which are problems you're facing with kdp uh, small small things with microsoft words and any other hack like getting quillbot for free or something like that you can check on this channel and go through and see whatever video I have there they'll they may be useful to you and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you can subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss what i'm going to show you in the next video i have a lot of things that i'm going to show you in the, on this channel so stay tuned bye